hello everyone welcome back to good show tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix the callisto protocol is getting crashed crashing it is not launching freezing stuttering and unexpected uh, error black screen low fps drop then also for some users it is having you know freezing issues and all those things for every kind of these kind of issues can be fixed in this video so i'm going to talk about some of the possible workaround and the video will be around uh, 15 to 18 minutes so just uh, completely watch this Shh, do not skip in the part so let me directly get into this and if you're for the first time don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification so the first one is all about you have to do is you just have to uncheck the administrator from the .exe that means you have to go to the where the game is installed for example as you can see the callisto protocol we can go or navigate it into two way the first one is from here itself click over here go to properties go to local files and go to browse so this will take you to where the game is installed and this is where the game is installed as you can see and right now this is the application the callisto protocol so i have to right click and i have to go to show more options and go to properties now from here go to compatibility and here i have to make sure that is uh, over here it should not be run this program as an administration should be unchecked it should not be checked it should be unchecked if it is checked sometimes you'll be having the issue so this is the first step and also if you don't know how to navigate to where the game is, where the game is installed you just have to go over here click on uh, my pc then from here on the local disk see where the most game you get to get installed so go over here go to program file 86 now from here navigate to steam now from here go to steam now from here go to steam apps now from here go to common now from here select callisto protocol now from here select do the same process which i mentioned above go to properties go to compatibility compatibility and make sure it is not checked this is the first step Moving to the next one is all about you have to go for next one. That is all about you have to disable Steam overlay, close all overlay applications. So I'll show you the first one. That is you have to disable Steam overlay. For disabling the Steam overlay, you have to select the game, right click and go to properties. And over here, as you can see, we are having under general there is an option called enable the Steam overlay while in game. So this should be unchecked. That means it is disabled. So this is what you have to do. If it is enabled, you have to disable it. Once after that, try to launch the game. Parallelly, like I said above, overclocking applications. So overclocking application drain out a lot of performance, and it comes when it comes to app uh, apps like Discord, Antivirus, etc. So I'll show you a demonstration. Just go over here in the start, right click, and go to Task Manager. Right now, these are the things which is running in my background. That is Adobe Premiere Pro, Google Chrome, Screen Recorder, Steam, Task Manager. Apart from these. there are 109 uh, nine background process which is running in my background which is draining out my performance that is the reason sometimes why we are having crashing not launching freezing stuttering and all these kind of issue so it is very important the, that you have to end the task okay you have to end the task for every unwanted things it will take a little bit of time but do this and once you're done with this the 100 should be turned to zero and no thing should be running in the background process Once after that, try to launch the game, and that will be working, guys. Out. So this has worked for many of the users. That's why I recommend you guys. You have to do this. Moving to the next one is all about. We have to do is you have to uncheck the compatibility from game exe file. That is which I mentioned above already. I told you that we have shown it. The next one is all about. You have to do is you just have to delete the save. I mean, you have to delete the game files. for that you just have to go over here in this uh, on the my documents or so go to this pc first now go to documents over here you can see most probably you will be able to see that a folder named over here on the game so if you can can see the respective one just delete it and keep in mind when you do this most probably all the stages of a game which you already completed will be completely deleted so it is main main sure that you have to start from the scratch but even though when deleted for this has worked for many of the users that's why i am recommend you guys this is very important step moon to next one is all about you have to verify the integrity of game file for that just open over here then go to callisto protocol right click and go to properties Now from here go to local file then click on verify integrity of game file 
So verify integrity of game file. Actually, what happens is if any files are missed or if any files are actually corrupted, all these kind of issues will be fixed from this particular end. And if anything is happening in between, all these kind of issues will be completely fixed. So you don't have to worry on this. And this is actually a great fix. So let us wait for this. In between, I'll be opening few links to show you guys. So I'll go over here. So I'll go to this particular video and I'll open this so that I can demonstrate you some of the links. Okay. So now from here, okay, I'll open these two links. Okay. Nothing much. Let this get completed. So we will move to the next step. So next step is all about you have to launch the game. So then what you have to do is you just have to do this. Next one is all about you have to launch the game from the installation folder. For that, like I told you above, you just have to do this. So moving to the next one is all about you have to run the game as an administrator from the installation folder. So for that, you just have to go over here. You can go to uh, select the game, go to properties, click on local file, click on browse. So when you click on browse, you are selected to where the game is installed. Now from here, you can select the game. Then you just have to run the game from here. This is also quite important. And also there is one more step that you just have to run the game as an administrator from here. So that you, that can also be done from here itself. So I'll show you that you just have to right click. Then you just have to right click and go to show more options and go to properties. Now go to compatibility. Now from here, you just have to click on rent this program as an administrator then you just have to go for apply and go for ok then try to launch the game and most probably you will be able to find this app and also i would like to make you notice if you don't know how to navigate to where the game is installed just follow this instruction that is from here go to this pc so it might be not on the same uh, maybe in your case it might be local disk d or e so you have to select the respective one but if you are on c just follow the instruction open local disk c then go to program file 86 now scroll down and navigate to steam now from here you just have to navigate to steam now from here go to steam apps now from here select common and from here you have to select the callisto protocol now from here you have to select the respective game do the same go to show more options and navigate to properties go to compatibility tab and make sure this is rent this program as an administrator is checked and you can try this out and these are some of the possible workarounds and even after trying everything if it's still not working then we just have to move to the next one next one is all about you have to allow few commands on the launch option and this has worked for some of the users for that just go to callisto protocol right click and go to properties and here you can see there is an option called launch option here we have to give few commands three commands actually it is minus dx11 minus d3 d2 and minus dx d12 so i'll be showing you that i'll be giving these commands in the description so you don't have to worry the first command is this one and if it's not working then you just have to change the command that is d3 d2 you have to give this one and if it's still not working then we just have to change into dx12 we have to try with this and most probably after any one of these might be working out and if it's not working you can just remove it everything from here then you can try with that next one is all about you have to run the game on dedicated graphics card for that you just have to go over here in the search now from here you just have to search for graphics setting now from here you just have to click on browse as you can see here many games are already added simultaneously you have to do the same process click on the browse now from here just go to this pc now go to local disk c from here scroll down and navigate to program file 86 scroll down and go to steam now from here go to steam apps now from here select common now from here go to callisto protocol now select the game go for add once it is done, as you can see, this is added here. Select option, change this to high performance and go for save. Once it is done, most probably you can try to launch the game and that will be working good. And also it is quite important that it should be uh, allowing the game.exe file on antivirus as well as Windows Defender. So I'll show you that part also. You have to go over here in the search and search for control panel. Now from here, go to Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here click on allow an app or uh, app or feature through Windows Defender. Now from here you have to see whether you are able to add this up. If it is not there don't worry we will show you that how to do this up. Click on allow another app. Now from here click on browse. Now from here you have to navigate to where the game is installed. Here on this PC scroll down and program file x86. Scroll down and navigate to steam. 
once again from here navigate to steam apps select common from here go to callisto protocol select this one and add it if it is already added see it is already added so there is no issue so you can navigate to it just scroll down and navigate to see and right now call of duty vanguard simultaneously you will be able to find the, uh, the callisto from here itself somewhere it will be here so it is very important and make sure that both this private and public is checked and this is what you have to do and move on to the next one we have to move to the next step after trying this if it's still not working then we just have to move to the next one that is all about you have to uh, you have to install graphics card manually that is quite important because that is the reason why most of the users are having so i'll be providing both link in the article i mean uh, in this to the uh, both the thing that is for uh, nvidia users as well as for the amd the nvidia users have to go to this select the product type product series product operating system download type and language so uh, right now i am on windows 11 so i have to select windows 11 then go for start search mm -hmm. now right now i am having a particular uh, version that is uh, 527.37 which is uh, right now released on 1st December, which is the latest one, which is around 830.3 MB. So just download this. For the MD users, they just have to go over here, select on the graphics, select the respective models from here itself, then just go for submit. Once you select, you'll be having two options for Windows 11 as well as Windows 10. If you're on Windows 11, select this one and download AMD Software Adrenaline Edition. Should not be downloading anything else. For the Windows 10 users also, I'll be recommending AMD Software Adrenaline Edition. Just download and install this. Then moving to the next one is all about, you have to install Microsoft Visual C++. Like already, I have given the link in the description that will take you to this or else you can search for it. So you can go over here. Go to the google and search for microsoft visual c download and you have to download the respective one so there will be two variants that is ace x86 for the users of that configuration and for 64 x64 for the configuration of that particular uh, laptop so pc so minus 64 so i'll be downloading this one and install i have already downloaded and installed you don't have to do anything just click on this and play the .exe and you can install it and once after this this particular step has worked for many of the users you can try this out and move to the next one is all about you have to close all overclock clocking application like i said above in the uh, in the previous video that you just have to completely end the task for apps like discord f secure and dewires and all those things which is draining out a lot of performance and also you have to perform a clean boot for performing a clean boot just go over here in the search and search for system configuration now click on services now from here click on hide all microsoft services go for disable all apply and go for ok then they will be asking for a restart right now i'm in the middle of the video so i'll be exit without restart but for you it is a mandatory that you have to do a restart then you have to see whether you are able to fix the issue or not and also the quite important step is increase the virtual memory for that just go over here in the search go to settings now from here it is very important go to system scroll down and navigate to about section and from here it is very visible that my ram is around 32 gb and you have to make sure which one is yours because we are going to do a few calculation for the calculation we need or we should be knowing what is the ram so this is 32 gb so that is mine so i have to go over here and i have to search for view advanced system setting now from here i have to select advanced then go to settings now from here go to advanced once again click on change now from here I have to uncheck this. If I ch uncheck this, I'll not be able to select the respective local disk C or D or E or F, whatever it may be. So here I have to uncheck this. Once it is done, I have to do is I have to click on custom size. Here we are having two values that is initial size as well as maximum size. So I have to do a calculation. So I have to go over here and go for calculator. And over here I have to do the calculator. So make sure that initial size is always 1.5 times the total ramp. So I have to select this one, then I have to go with first I have to do the conversion that is 32 into, I have to do the conversion that is 1024. So that is 32,768, then I have to multiply it with 1.5 times. So that is 49,152. So this particular value, this particular value is what you have to give for initial size. And move to the next one as maximum size, we have to do the calculation simultaneously. 
that is you have to do the conversion that is 32 into 1024 that is 32768 you have to multiply it with 3 because maximum size is always 3 times the total ram so that is 98304 so you just have to copy this particular value then you just have to paste it over here then just go for ok then you have to try to play the game and see whether you are able to fix the issue moving to the next one is all about you have to do is just have to try launching the game on window mode when you are trying to launch the game plus alt and uh, alt and end of frame here which will take you to window mode and you can see whether that's going to help you guys out but even if it's still not working the last and the least one is all about you have to uninstall the game and reinstall it back but it should not be on the same local disc C, it is already installed for example mine is on local disc c so i'm not having any of the local disk so if i uninstall the game from local disk c it should not be reinstalling back on local disk c it should it can be on any other drive like local disk d or e you can try with that and these are the possible workarounds that you have to try out when the callisto protocol is not working you are having crashing issue not launching freezing stuttering black screen low fps drop and for every kind of all these kind of issues you can try this particular video and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification also i'll be providing our blog link where you can read the same article as well as you can refer on many other troubleshoot guide so i'll be providing that you can also check on to it so that's what it's all about it see you soon in the next video bye bye bye